Hello everyone, new video this time about resource nodes in RPG Builder. Resource nodes are used to, you know, have items or objects in the world that you can harvest or gather, such as, for example, ores, plants, um, maybe even trees, things like that. And so that you can, you know, interact with them, gather them, obtain from uh, some resource from them and um, some other things that we'll be looking at right now. So resource nodes are their own module in the RPG Builder editor, as you can see here, under world and resource nodes. And I made one which is a iron ore. So resource node, just like uh, crafting recipes and um, abilities, are using the ranking system. So you are able to have multiple rank of the same resource node. So if we would go ahead right now, for example, and create a rank 2 for this one. Um, copy the settings from above. So we start um, with a copy of it. And now we could say, for example, that uh, the gather time is now one second and it will respawn every eight seconds and stuff like that. Meaning that um, when you are uh, looking at your gathering tree, so something similar as a talent tree, but for gathering in game, you could, for example, spend some point on the iron ore uh, resource node and kind of get better at gathering this node, I guess, or rather having a better version of this iron ore now in your world, meaning that it could respawn faster, it could be quicker to gather, it could give you more experience, and it could, uh, you know, do all kind of things or like have a different loot table and stuff like that. We will keep it simple for this video and use one rank only. I'm going to be making a separated video for the gathering trees. So very simple setup here. Uh, unlock cost is one, but we don't really care about this for now. Uh, the distance is distance at which you can, you know, interact with this node. And the gather time, you know, pretty straightforward. How long does it take to uh, interact with this, uh, like, you know, resource node or harvesting node. Um, and the respawn time. So for now it's set to 10 seconds pretty important the skill so this is the skill that's going to be used to check when um, you need to check the level so in this case you see that we have mining uh, assigned here and we require mining to be at least level one but you know require this to be level 50 or whatever so you can have um, resource nodes in your world that are not you know um, available right away for your players and the amount of experience it should give to the skill once uh, successfully harvested so that's pretty much it for resource nodes and how they are, you know, set up in the editor. You can, you know, like I said, just add as many ranks as you want and so on. But we will bring that part right now. One last setting is um, the known automatically, which is the same as for the crafting recipes and stuff like that. Um, and this means that um, you decide if yes or no, it should be known automatically when you create a character. In this case, it's set to meaning that when we create a new character our character immediately knows uh, it's a bit weird to talk that way about a resource node but if you see it as a recipe like crafting recipe thing your character starts and already knows how to craft a certain item in this case your character starts and already know how to gather this node it's pretty much meaning that you do not have to spend points in your gathering trees to um, you know be able to use this node so now talking about gathering trees, you see that it is a different module here under resource nodes and we will be looking at it right now. So here we have a mining gathering tree, same as crafting trees and talent trees. We have a tree point type, this is a chair amount for the UI. Once again, not going to cover that in this video. You will just uh, understand what it's doing, you know, in the um, dedicated video to that. And we have a resource node list here. In this case, we only have one, which is the iron ore. You could add as many as you want and select from there. But we only created one. That's what we need for now. So this is basically saying that we have created a mining gathering tree, meaning that um, we can now assign this gathering tree to skills. And you will be able later to see them in your game UI. So you will be able to, you know, Spend some point on the iron ore node and stuff like that. Now, how do you actually um, assign those crafting uh, gathering trees to skills? It's very simple. You go to skills here. You see that we have blacksmithing. 
the blacksmithing one, for example, does not have a gathering tree attached to it, but it has the blacksmithing crafting tree. But if we select mining, it does not have a crafting tree attached to it, but it has a gathering one, which is mining. So perfect. Technically, right now, we should be all set. And we can go um, in game, create a new character and see if we can gather a ore. So let's make a random character name. So I placed a gathering, uh, I mean, a, a resource node here which is this rock. If I select it, um, you see that it's just as one uh, component on it. And the component is actually the interactive node component that we covered in a previous video, which is, you know, um, handling all kinds of different actions and things that you can do uh, when using them. But in our case, we want it to be a resource node. And resource node has a few settings to it. First, it has a reference to the resource node it should be, obviously. So in this case, we drag and drop or, you know, selected the iron ore. Uh, this is just for the loot back position. I'm not sure it's going to stay that way for resource nodes. Uh, you will see what I mean in a bit. And that's it. Pretty much um, the rest is just standard interactive nodes uh, settings. The visuals let you choose um, how the uh, node should be be looking like based on the state. So for example, as of right now, this resource node, you know, is ready to be interacted with. It's here, it's waiting for us to be uh, gathering it or harvesting it. So it is using the ready visual because we are in the ready state. But uh, if, for example, once used, you will want um, to have a different visual, which is what I'm going to be showing you now. So let's go here and click on it. And you see now it's giving us um, this iron ore and you see that the resource node disappeared so of course um, I mean you might want it to disappear if you wanted to I do not have a um, model which is you know fitting this need right now but imagine that you would have a nice looking um, iron ore so for example a rock with some kind of smaller uh, parts which are representing the iron or whatever you could separate those two meshes and, um, for example, have the iron only visible when it is ready. And once you gathered it, the, the rock will still be here, but the iron will disappear. And then it will come back when it's ready to be harvested again. So this is possible out of the box. I just don't have the uh, model for it right now. Uh, actually, let's quickly do something just to show you how easy it will be. Um, I'm going to duplicate this rock and create a uh, cube here and uh, make it a bit small here like that. Okay, so um, now we will be selecting the iron or interactive node again. You see that the ready visual will be this first rock and the on cooldown visual. I'm going to drag and drop the rock I duplicated. I'm going to be disabling this rock right now and harvesting the node. So now it should switch from this rock to the one with the white cube while it's on cooldown. So as you can see, that's the case. Now we see the cube, we can take the loot. And when it's going to go back to um, um, harvestable, it is now uh, like this. It should actually probably be in the opposite. So the white cube is when it's possible to harvest and stuff. But you get the idea. If we use it again, we get the loot bag, the white cube is uh, visible, and so on. So that's it. It's very simple to, to set up for yourself. That's pretty much covering what resource nodes are um, in uh, RPG Builder. Like I said, later I'm going to be making a video showing you how to set up your gathering trees. So we are looking right now at a combat tree. So with like abilities that you can learn and unlock and upgrade and stuff like that. It will have the same UI, but this time for gathering. So for example, here, instead of a fireball, you could have an iron ore. Here, maybe a copper ore and gold ore and stuff like that. And you could have requirements and things like this to unlock them and uh, upgrade them. So for example, we would, you know, spend one point in iron ore. And now the next time we gather one, it's going to give us a new loot table and be faster to gather and etc. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.